developing off the top here at 4 o'clock. More than 100 migrants desperate to reach the state of Florida, making the daunting journey across the Atlantic, and right now we're sitting right off our coast. Good afternoon. This all happening in the last few minutes. That's right. Some of them have already made it to dry land. Others are still waiting at sea. Let's head over to Maricela Burgos live in Virginia Key, where the situation is still developing. Maricela. You know, and when we were on our way here, we saw plenty of law enforcement agencies trying to get here to investigate as well. Behind me in the distance, you can see that sailboat. We want to show you a better image of uh, that situation happening out in the water from Seven Sky Force. You can still see plenty of migrants who are still on board. Just they're surrounded by uh, Coast Guard agents, different law enforcement agencies, including U.S. Customs and Border Protection, just different uh, rescue teams who are there. This all kind of started happening around 3 p.m. when all all of these agencies started responding. We want to show you video, just closer images of that boat full of migrants. We believe uh, they are Haitian migrants who are on board. Uh, the majority of those migrants are still on that sailboat. Again, this boat arriving here around 3 p.m. We want to show you another video um, of a woman and, or I'm sorry, Good Samaritans who were helping some of those migrants. Uh, you can see that they use their own boats to help them get to shore. This was earlier, and uh, just for perspective, this is um, off of Virginia Key. Uh, some of those migrants, there was a woman and a man who uh, walked through the water there to get to the historic Virginia Key Beach Park. Uh, that's where plenty of um, migrants did get off board and did make it to shore. Now, we do have video of um, another a migrant, a younger person who was uh, being helped. Uh, it was on a personal watercraft, uh, also being brought to shore as well. And then Miami Fire Rescue uh, did send us a picture of uh, some of the migrants so you can see them uh, there with a different personnel wearing uh, towels over them uh, here at historic Virginia Key Beach Park. Uh, that area we've been told that beach has been blocked off for now as uh, uh, U.S. Customs and Border Protection investigates as well as uh, different law enforcement agencies. But from what we are told, uh, more than 100 migrants were on that boat, some of them making it to shore. All of this is preliminary, of course. We're still waiting to get more information from authorities. As soon as we get that, we will bring that back to you. Live in Virginia Key, Maricela Burgos, 7 News. All right, Maricela, back now over the uh, boat filled with migrants forced uh, now just to wait in the water there. This is a live picture from 7's Ralph Rayburn bringing us more. Ralph? Yeah, Lynn, we're learning now that uh, there were more than 30 people on board this vessel. We estimated to be about maybe 26, 28 feet. And you can see a custom Border Patrol uh, inflatable vessel has pulled up alongside. They are uh, now throwing life rafts or life preservers over to the folks that are still on board the vessel. Uh, and uh, the plan right now is that they're going to be uh, taken back to a Coast Guard cutter that's uh, about uh, 25 or 30 miles offshore. We're bringing the camera all the way back out here to show you that we counted 15 vessels here. Those are all different agencies agencies that responded, uh, including the uh, Marine Patrol, uh, Miami-Dade, and uh, uh, Miami Beach uh, Fire Rescue, uh, Miami Fire Rescue. They all responded out here. Now, we'll show you the distance that they where they where they stopped sailing and st uh, started to try to come ashore. And that's Virginia Beach right there. Pardon the skid, but that's the best we can do with the situation with the chopper here. There you see the, all the fire rescue personnel down here that they set up along the beach uh, to get the arrival of these folks. And then they're all quarantined right over here in this area, and they're being processed right now. They're taking information from all the people that did make it to shore. The first thing, of course, they did was check them out, give them something warm to put around their shoulders to, uh, to warm up a little bit because the waters are kind of cold right now. So all those people are getting good care that are on the beach and the people that are out there in the water are also being attended to. Uh, they're, again, they're planning on uh, the people that are still on board that boat are going to be taken out to a Coast Guard vessel that's farther offshore and possibly be repatriated. We're working to get you more information. As we do that, we'll get it back to you. That's our story here in Skyforce HD. I'm Ralph Ray reporting live.